Hello everyone and welcome back to Nuggets of Wisdom. Today I would like to talk about time and the secret to time management. And um, today I'm going to actually share an article that I read that exposes this secret on how to um, be, how we can um, be better at managing our time. And this article reads like this. Um, A lot has changed since the electric clock was invented in the 1840s. Mm -hmm. We now keep time on smartwatches, yep, smartphones, and laptops. The entire pace of life seems faster, with even our leisurely walking speeding up. This is especially true in cities and can have a negative effect on health, scholars say. Yes, it does. Like the fast, constant space, it can have a negative effect in our health. It says, we're just moving faster and faster and getting back to people as quickly as we can. Professor Richard Wiseman observed, that's driving us to think everything has to happen now. We live in a society that we want things now, we want things quickly, we want things fast. It doesn't leave a lot of time for a rest, really. But Moses, the writer of one of the oldest of the Bible Psalms, reflected on time. And he reminds us that God controls life's pace. See? God controls life's pace. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by or like a watch in the night. He wrote on Psalm chapter 90, verse 4. The secret, here's the secret, the secret to time management, to time management therefore, isn't to go faster or slower. Did you hear that? The secret to time management is not to go faster or slower. Uh, slower. It's to abide in God. That's the secret. Spending more time with him. Then we get in step with each other. But first with him, the one who formed us and knows our purpose and plans. If we align ourselves every morning to go to God and get in step with him, then we're able to align ourselves with others because he knows, he knows us and he knows our purpose and plans. Our time on earth won't last forever, yet we can manage it wisely, not by watching the clock, but by giving each day to God. And as Moses said, teach us to number of days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Then with God, we'll always be on time now and forever. So that's the secret of time management is to be in the presence of God, is to abide in God, to get in step with him. So I challenge you, how can you get in step with God? Because once you do that, then everything falls in its place. Then you get in step with others. So I pray that this video blesses you and that you're able to receive this nugget on time management. And until next time, God bless you.